Hey everybody, it's Safi and Marco Dish Out on Movies, the only movie review show on YouTube to review movies in terms of food. And it's just Marco here once again to talk about Tell Me Your Secrets, Episode 7. Oh. Oh. As you guys can tell, did not like the episode. It was another snooze fest. It was another episode where it moved at a snail's pace. And God, I just, this show is so frustrating. I can see why. You know what happened with this show? This show was shot in 2018, and it was originally supposed to air on TNT, and then TNT decided at the last minute that they wouldn't air it, and then Amazon bought it for 2021's release. I can see why TNT did not release this show. This show has no balls. And that's j just everything about it. Oh, God. Do you guys know how to... I, I look at my face and it looks like... It looks like my pores are like... Either like there's... I don't know. Like they... They look clogged or something. It looks really unnatural. I don't know. <laughs> that was random, but I just saw myself. And I was like, what the what the F? Uh, but this episode was just so un uninteresting. It was so boring. It was so... <sighs> cringeworthy. It's cringeworthy storytelling. Nothing happens. The same old things happen, basically. You have Mary Mary, quite contrary... She, we have to learn, we have to see her be sad, we have to see her talk about victims, we have to see her just do the same thing she's done over and 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 over again. And then we see Emma. For the millionth time, Emma's with Tom, and that's, and then she goes to the psychic woman and she trips out a little bit. She has some flashbacks that are conveniently triggered. Like, that was another thing. So many conveniences. There was this one part where she's cutting this woman's hair. And she cuts her hair a little bit and sees a necklace. And then she has a flashback. And then she cuts the girl's arm and has a flashback. And it's like, God, this is so cringeworthy now. Like, oh, just every little thing gives you a flashback. It's like, ugh. It's so, so bad. It's so bad. The story, it's just, it's so bad. And then you got John. John, apparently, he did get a haircut by her, which I don't know why the hell we didn't get to see that. You think that these two, you think that their characters, the first time they meet on screen, would be a good scene to show. Like, out of all the scenes, out of the millionth scene where we see the boring teenage girl who went missing and is the whole reason the show happened... For the millionth time we see her, and she's talking with uh, Emma, and they're just not showing what happened, but kind of showing, like, it's just ridiculous. And, oh. <sighs> instead of showing that, you could have shown their first scene together. Like, that's literally logical. Why wouldn't you show that? They showed the first little snippet of it in the last episode where he's like, I thought I almost, I thought, uh, what did he say? She said, we're close. And he said, I thought I had just caught you or something like that. And, and it's like, you think that they'd show the rest of the scene? Like, isn't that, isn't that like writing 101? Are we that far behind? Do you guys need some lessons? Do you guys need... You guys need some help. Because this is not where it's at. And I'm not trying to sound like a jackass. It's just... I'm trying to do that for entertainment value. Uh, you know, I'm a lot nicer in person. You know, I'm not like this how I am on my show. It's just that when I see these terrible episodes, it's just... It makes me really upset because it's like... It's not only time wasted, but it's money wasted. 
It's talent wasted. It's everything is wasted. This show is a waste of time. I can see why hardly any people are interested. Like, I saw this one woman. She had this beautiful, uh... She she has this beautiful outfit, and she was doing, like, a review for an episode on YouTube. And it had, like, ten views. And I think that she did it the, the time that the episode came out. And it's like, wow, people really do not give a fuck about this show. I can see why. I can see why TNT didn't air it. TNT had a good... They had good sense when they didn't air the show. This show is trash. They knew that this show does not have any balls. Because it doesn't. This show has no balls at all. Now let's talk about the sex scene. <sighs> there is a sex scene. There's two in this episode, actually. So a lot of sex. And of course, we get the usual. And I was surprised that it was not directed by a woman because... It's the same exact type of woke, trash directing style that you see with sex scenes nowadays where the angles are all the same. They're all just people's heads and shoulders and nobody's naked anymore because the actors won't do it. And it's just getting fucking ridiculous. I'm so fucking sick of movie sex scenes nowadays the way that they're so woke the way that, you know, you got the sex scene between Tom and Emma. And it's like, okay, uh, I don't really care about seeing sex scenes if it doesn't pertain to the story. In this case, I guess it kind of did. It kind of was like, okay, I don't really care. Uh, it wasn't a big deal. It was just kind of like, oh, look, John snaps a picture of them having sex. And it's like, yeah, okay, that's kind of like just this tiny little thing that happens. Uh, so it wasn't really worth it, but regardless, it happened. And I'm not kidding you. They're both wearing their clothes. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Uh, I just got something caught in my throat. Uh, but she is wearing her clothes. He is wearing, I think he's wearing his bottoms, but he is shirtless. So he's the only one who's shirtless. Uh, she has, like, a bikini on. And I'm not kidding. They're having sex with a, with a bikini on. Like, this is just getting fucking ridiculous. I'm so fucking sick of these types of sex scenes. I am so... I've had it. I have had it with these sex scenes. These sex scenes are disgusting. What is this? The 1600s Puritan era? Like, how how hard is that? How hard is it to film two people having... Uh, how hard is that? It's easy. It is ABC elementary school level type of filmmaking. And these people can't even do that right. You have this simple sex scene. And it doesn't even go on for more than like 30 seconds. And then he takes a picture and it's over. And yet these people have their clothes on, having sex. You can't have your clothes on while you have sex. That is so unnatural and so gross. I mean, you want to talk about... That is one huge pet peeve of mine, of film and television. It, these type of neutered sex scenes where there's no sex in it. It's There's no sexuality. It's ugly. It's boring. It's generic. It's trash. And then the uh, Mary has sex with her ex-husband. And then they have their clothes on too. I'm getting sick of that. So sick of it. It's like, okay, you got shows where you have actual actors on Californication. And you have just nice little sex scenes that last like 30 seconds. And that they have their clothes off and it's done. But it's like, no, we got to make it complicated. We got to make it like this where they got their clothes on. I mean, this is the second time this year that I've seen that. Because they did that in Fear Street 2 too. <laughs> that was funny. Fear Street 2, too. In Fear Street 1978, there's a, a sex scene where I'm not kidding you. Uh, the 
what was that bitch's name, Alice, where the counselor Alice is having sex with her stoner boyfriend, and uh, and they both have their clothes on. It, oh, I know the boyfriend, of course, has his pants pulled down, so you can see his ass, I think. Uh, but she has all of her clothes on, of course. And you know, it's just, it's so embarrassing. It is. I am so. It is so cringeworthy. I am so embarrassed for these actors that they would uh, do this type of a sex scene uh, in 2021. I mean, you you think it's like the silent movie era where like you have uh, censors censoring the sex and censoring everything that goes on. Like that's how bad it is. <sighs> So that's over. Uh, let's not talk about sex scenes in 2021 American cinema anymore because it's it's really going to fucking piss me off. Uh, so then what else happened in this stupid episode? Uh, well, you know, the usual stuff happened. You know, John, he, ju he does some sort of like game where he's like getting to know Tom and he's getting to know Emma and he talks with them a little bit and oh yeah and then there's a dancing scene and of course <laughs> you guys remember the dance scene from your honor episode three the zombie dance whoa <laughs> you thought that the zombie dance was bad emma dances in this episode and she's literally just like i don't know like just shaking up and down like that is that if that's what you call dancing like she literally is way worse than Adam. Uh, she does this dance that is so cringeworthy. Uh, and then it triggers another flashback, of course. Another flashback of like, oh, hi, hi, bye, bye. Flashback's over. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's so bad. It's so bad. And But honestly, I would say that it was better than the Adam dance scene. Uh, simply because the Adam dance scene went on for, like, an entire minute. And, like, they had, like, the camera, like, spinning around him. It's like they had different colored lights of the rainbow shine on him. Like, that was even worse than this. This was just, like, a dumb Karen dancing in a bar uh, for, like, 20 seconds it wasn't that long, so I think that that's better, honestly. It, it's not as cringeworthy. And, uh, what else happened in this episode? Um, not really anything. Oh, yeah, there was a girl found next door to the, to the psychic, and she was dead or dying or something, and, uh, we don't know what happened with her, and then we see Richard Thomas's body lord with... <laughs> Or whatever, how you, however you say his name, and and he goes into his his office or room, and he's got the key to her room, and so oh, he must have done something. So he's sort of like the the uh, the Ben Horn of this series. If you guys know like Ben Horn from uh, Twin Peaks, you know his type of character. I guess Richard Thomas is supposed to be that type of character. Uh, Honestly, he's hardly on. It's, like, really shitty that they have Richard fucking Thomas, one of the greatest actors of all time, and this is the respect that they show him. Of course, who knows? They might have had him more in season two, but, of course, we we probably won't get season two because nobody cares about this show. Like, nobody. Like, this show just went on and went off. You know why? Because it was terribly written. If you guys would like to know, I could easily write a better season of this in a weekend. Like, that's how easy it is. It's not even hard. That's the that's the weird thing, is that everything we see nowadays, it's like, okay, you have this, this slam dunk story. You have a convicted rapist who's got to go on this redemption mission where he, he's got to track down this girl to, to help out this corporate whore who is sad about her daughter, and so she wants to track down the Carla Holmolka character, and then the Carla Holmolka character can't remember what actually happened, and she's in witness protection. And so it's like, okay, you have a slam dunk story right there. Easy. It's like, this is like, basics. And still, they screw it up, and still they make it a story that is not interesting, not entertaining, and not good. 
this show just gets worse and worse and worse because it just, it all feels like a waste of time. It all feels like, okay, like, is anything interesting going to happen? Is anything good going to happen? Is this show ever going to go anywhere that makes me interested? Is it ever going to do anything ballsy? Is it ever going to take any chances? No, of course not. So, if you like this... Oh yeah, I forgot to rate it. Uh, I give this episode a D+. Plus. I, I, in terms of the ratings, like every single episode has been a D or a C. Uh, except for episode two, which I give like a B or a B plus. That episode was actually good. That was the episode where I was like, oh, okay, this series has potential. Uh, not anymore. Uh, we're way too far gone for this show to get good at any point. So that's unfortunate. Anyways, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment. Tell me what you thought of... <laughs> tell me what you thought of uh, episode... Uh, what was it? Episode 7, I'm a Good Person. Oh yeah, and then we find out at the end that Emma actually killed uh, the teenage girl. Uh, and it's like, you know, who cares? I don't care. I literally don't care. I don't give a flying F. And then also subscribe to our channel if you'd like to see more reviews of Tell Me Your Secrets. Goodbye everybody! See you soon.